Karen Ashley was the second Mighty Morphin Yellow Power Ranger. She'll soon be making her return in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always. It's Morphin time! Aisha Campbell was the second Mighty Morphin Yellow Power Ranger. Her journey to become the new Yellow Power Ranger starts with meeting Tommy Oliver, Kimberly Hart, and Billy Cranston after saving a baby along with her friends Rocky DeSantos and Adam Park. The three of them were visiting Angel Grove to represent Stone Canyon in the Team Ninja competition. Because of her skill as a martial artist, Aisha became an immediate target to Lord Zed. Along with Rocky and Adam, she ends up kidnapped and thrown into the Dimension of Despair. Luckily, the Power Rangers came to rescue them just in time. Rocky, Adam, and Aisha discover the Rangers' identities when Tommy and Kimberly had to take off Billy's helmet. Rocky, Adam, and Aisha were later taken to the command center to meet Zordon and were sworn to secrecy. Thanks to the Power Rangers. <laughs> The three eventually moved to Angel Grove permanently. Afterwards, they all became close friends to the Power Rangers and would help them on several occasions. Once when Zed's Beamcaster monster put everyone in a trance, Zordon and Alpha were able to retrieve her, Rocky and Adam before they succumbed to the same signal, allowing Aisha to use her technical experience to repair a device Billy had created that canceled the monster's brainwashing signal. We're really sorry that by helping us we kept you guys from winning. Hey, Trathlon's about finishing, not winning. Aisha was chosen to replace Trini Kwan as the yellow Mighty Morphin Power Ranger after Trini and her fellow rangers Zack Taylor and Jason Lee Scott were selected to attend the peace conference in Geneva, Switzerland. Aisha was entrusted with the powers of the Sabertooth Tiger Power Coin and the Griffin Thunderzord. Aisha later became good friends with Kimberly. We saved the world from Zed. Wow. Yeah, but we couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah, you guys were awesome, all of you. In the non-canon movie Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, Karen Ashley portrayed a similar version of her character from the television series, who receives new powers and becomes the Yellow Ninja Ranger. She harnesses the spirit of the bear and controls the Yellow Bear Ninja Zord to defeat Ivan Ooze with the team. Unlike the television series, Aisha's Yellow Ranger costume has more of an armored look. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Taking care of business. <laughs> In Season 3, the Thunderzords were destroyed by Rito Revolto and his band of monsters, thus also destroying the original dinosaurs and damaging the power coins beyond use. With the help of Ninjor, Aisha later gained new ninja powers of the bear, becoming the Yellow Ninja Ranger and also gained the ability to pilot the Yellow Bear Ninja Zord and Yellow Shogun Zord. This ninja power is amazing! Yeah, it's like being supercharged! During her time on the team, Aisha played a particularly crucial role in the defeat of the powerful monster Hate Master, as she was the only ranger to escape his initial attack to turn the other rangers against each other, and even managed to resist a direct assault against her when she was alone. How can this be? What's happening to me? I won't let Hate control me. My grandmother taught me better than that. Midway through Season 3, Aisha and Kimberly adopts a stray white cat, PC, who is in the secret form of Rita's new spy, Catherine Hillard. Cat also spies the rangers in her human form. Cat eventually breaks free from Rita, replacing Kimberly as the new pink ranger, and becomes Aisha's new close friend. When Rita Repulsa's father, Master Vile, arrived, he fed the Tenga's strength-enhancing seeds, rendering the ranger's ninja powers obsolete. Alpha 5 and Zordon created the metallic armor to help the rangers in battle against the enhanced Tengas. Master Vile's plan was to retrieve the Zeal Crystal, but the Rangers managed to retrieve it first. To ensure that Master Vile couldn't get it again, the Rangers split the Zeal Crystal into five subcrystals and sent them to different points in history. Master Vile then turned back time using the Orb of Doom, turning the Rangers back into children. The Rangers soon recruited the Alien Rangers to fight in their stead. Zordon instructed each Child Ranger to go on their personal journeys in the past to retrieve their Zeal Subcrystal. On Aisha's quest, she was sent to a village in Africa that was in a state of destruction after the surrounding wildlife had begun to attack the villagers. Young Aisha met a young girl named Tanya Sloan and managed to find her Zeal Subcrystal. But rather than return to the team, Aisha stayed in Africa, offering to use her veterinary knowledge to try and help cure the aggressive wildlife. Young Aisha sent young Tanya back to the command center, aware that she would alter the course of her family's history by doing so. Tanya Sloan replaces Aisha as the new Yellow Ranger, 
But because of the transfiguration process, Aisha turned back to her normal self, but she still stayed in Africa. Bye. I'll make you proud. You already have. Karen Ashley will finally return to the role of Aisha Campbell in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always. She is joined by fellow rangers Adam Park, Billy Cranston, Rocky DeSantos, Kat Hillard, Zach Taylor, and Trini's daughter, Min. It is unclear if Aisha will morph, but just like Adam Park, she does sport a space uniform with a badge that could either be a Space Patrol Alpha or perhaps part of Space Patrol Academy. The fact that she is back is also a mystery. As the last time we saw her, she volunteered to stay in the past. This promises to be an epic reunion and showdown with also the return of an old but upgraded foe, Robo Rita Repulsa. I think this is the best way we could have celebrated 30 years. Even though Aisha's time as a ranger was limited, she still made a significant impact to the legacy of Power Rangers.